I'm really excited about these eDNA results to be able to see what sharks are eating. Shall we have a look? I've got the email back, and here we go. First things first. Look at this percentage of pinniped. So your first seal, sea lion, leopard seal, but more than anything else in the sample is southern elephant seal. This tells us that the sharks in this area can get really big and really fat. Elephant seals are massive. They can get to over a ton and a half, and most of that is going to be blubber. So what you've got here is the best possible source of high-energy, high-calorie fat for a shark to go from skinny mini to massive Margaret. So if we had a feeding station like this, could these sharks reach that 6,000-pound threshold? But this still doesn't tell us how much weight one of these larger sharks can tack on while it's here. I might have an idea on how we can look at how much weight a shark can add. Looking at their liver. Shark livers are something like a balloon. The more they eat, the bigger it'll get. And the more they use up that energy, it'll shrink back down. So this can affect the body weight of the shark. It'll fluctuate with the size of that liver. I've managed to cook us up a replica of a shark's liver. And I think if I've got it all right, then this would be the head end. This would be, obviously, the tail end, and this liver is actually upside down. So this would be an upside down shark, because in this groove here would fit the stomach. And what I like about this is that like, that's massive, right? But yet, if this was in a shark, this could be quarter of the whole shark. I mean, this liver here is big, but actually, if it's going to take up 25% of the shark, you know, you're not going to get that much out of it. One of the many fascinating things about this organ is its ability to expand and contract based on how much the shark has eaten, how full it is. So the more nutrients and energy and food that that shark's taken in, the bigger that liver can get. So as well as being a life vest, this thing is also like a camel's hump. Exactly. It's a great way to put it. Storing that energy, if they need to use it later on or for a long migration or potentially going into a breeding stage in their life, they'd stock that up, get that liver nice and big, fill up a bigger portion of the body cavity and use that over time. It truly is the most important organ for the shark. The shark's liver is the biggest organ in its body, accounting for 25% of the shark's total weight. So the more they feed, the more energy they store in their liver. And the more weight they gain in short periods of time. Once these livers balloon, these sharks get visibly bigger and girthier. Yes, and that can be why the really big ones, like Deep Blue, have so much girth. They'll store all of the fat from what they eat in this liver, and that'll sustain them while they undertake a long-distance migration. All right. So this is an ultrasound. You're ultrasounding a shark. Thank it will be a first <laughs> for me. <laughs> this will be really challenging because generally with ultrasound, ideally you want to work with an animal that's keeping still. Here, we're going to be doing it with moving white sharks. We'll need the shark to get relatively close. I will most likely have to get myself far out of the cage enough to be able to scan it. So it's going to be a real challenge. Lee is going to get the size of the liver within the body cavity, and hopefully we can execute that on some of the big girls we've seen down there, preferably good old Josie Chester. Understanding how big a shark's liver is will allow the team to extrapolate how much weight they can put on. All right, Lee, we're going to get the jump going now. And I'll call out the sharks as I see them. Let's see. 
We know there's a big shark out here, a real big girl. We want that big mama coming in. That's what we want. That's not it. Close pass. As Lee resets, the large female shark circles back around. I think I've heard. That's Jersey. Big Mama! Yes! She's too far for me to reach. See, we can get her right next to the cage. But what I'm super excited to do is see if we got a good picture of that liver. On your left, yep. Beautiful. The shark that we got the scan on was a pretty big female. But what I'm curious to know is, is the liver full? So the liver is that section over there. You can see the liver seems to be taking up a fair bit of space in that body cavity. If you look at the size of the body cavity and the liver, I would say it's only about half full. Yep. We can see from the scan that the liver is about half full. We know that sharks use their liver to store that energy, that fat, that oil. So what this shows us is that this shark can actually get even bigger. That's so cool. The difference between you eating a big meal and a shark eating a big meal is how much energy your body is burning in the background. We're mammals, so we keep ourselves warm. We're warm-blooded. And that means our liver is constantly churning over like a furnace to stop our body temperature from dropping. But sharks aren't like that. They will take on the temperature of the water around them, so they can get pretty cold. Great whites, though, they're a little bit different. They have some incredible blood networks in their bodies to allow them to stay warmer than the surrounding water. And they also have a method of heating their stomach to allow them to digest their food faster. Now, that means that when they have digested their food, they're not going to spend as much energy burning that furnace, keeping themselves warm so they can hold on to a lot more calories in their livers and power them through those massive long migrations. We know that our big mama shark, Josie, well, she is a seriously massive fish, and that she's down there feeding on elephant seals and other large pinnipeds. And from the ultrasound reading, we know her liver is about half full. 
so she's only just started her gorging process in these waters. Now we need to get a measurement of her current weight. If we could take an accurate weight measurement of Josie, then we could extrapolate just how much more weight she could put on. To do that, we're busting out some new tech. A stereo camera that can take a 3D underwater scan of Josie and give us a detailed measurement. If this works, it is an incredible advancement in science. We can get really valuable weight information on them. And that's something nobody has done before. So this is a stereo camera, right? Yep. And if I understand this correctly, this is designed to take thousands of photographs and ultimately put that into a 3D model, which will allow us to get an idea of the the weight and the size of the shark as yeah. accurately as possible. No more guesstimation, none of that. So this is a chum cluster bomb right here. We've got all the bits and pieces we need. We've got the tuna, we've got the uh, just the squid guts, and of course, uh, I can't believe it's not blubber. And then last but not least is Doughboy. Hopefully this elephant seal decoy, with what we knew from the eDNA, this should bring in the biggest of the big. If you look at all the dives we've done so far, these sharks are really curious. I've seen them investigate everything from jellyfish to seaweed to any little bits and bobs floating on the surface. So this is what they actually eat. I have no doubt we're going to get some action. For the big, dominant great whites, seals form a crucial part of their diet. Yeah. So by having Doughboy, our elephant seal decoy there, I'm hoping that that is going to be enough to encourage the big mamas to come out and take a chance. They'll know just what a high prize an elephant seal can be. Only the fattest of the fat are going to take on something like an elephant seal. So by having Doughboy, I'm hoping that Josie comes up from the bottom, takes a bite out of him, and we can get her right in front of the camera. For this dive, fish will be in the water to ID our shark and make sure our camera is rolling. I'll be on the surface baiting and drawing these big sharks to the front of the cage. Doughboy in the water. In you go. The team places the elephant seal decoy. All right. Directly in front of Fish's 3D camera. Keep watching the chum. Chum bomb going in. We can't. Hopefully, that's going to bring in some of the bigger sharks. Keep your eyes out. All right, let's go. Come again. Oh, it's a juvenile speedster. Trying to be first on the jump. Bomb going in. Oh, what I do for we have a big one. 
a larger female surfaces and makes a pass at the camera cage. Cameraman Andy Casagrande's dive cage has just been bull rushed by a huge white shark. I'm gonna throw some more chum in the water. Here we go. Another huge shark surfaces. Huge shark coming up from the left. Please, I think. I think that might be her. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, no, no. Shark on her. 